The Guam governor's office is essentially telling the Department of Defense to slow down, take a deep breath, and follow the rules. Instead of ramming buildup projects through the pipeline before the end of this fiscal year, Acting Governor Mike Cruz wrote to Navy Captain P.S. Lynch this week that he stands by his local agencies, the Bureau of Statistics and Plans and its Coastal Management Program, recently objected to the Navy's presumption that defense buildup projects won't impact Guam's coasts. Cabinet official Tony Lamarena disagrees. Uh, when they dredge for the aircraft carrier, uh, granted the dredging would primarily be on military property, but the reality is, is uh, fish swimming in military prop on the military side don't know boundary lines. Likewise with the fish on the civilian side don't know boundary lines. So fish obviously swim back and forth from military to civilian properties. So there is obviously an impact. La Marina, Cruz, and the Coastal Management Program, administered by the Bureau of Statistics and Plans on Guam, are asking the Navy for a phased approach to federally funded environmental consistency review instead of a fast approach to dredging for nuclear aircraft carrier berthing near APRA Harbor, to firing range plans in Paget, and to a missile defense system installation possibly near Anderson Air Force Base. Again, you know, our job is to make sure that our, our local resources are not adversely affected as a result of the buildup. But the phased approach could cut defense project funding. The Pentagon must encumber $734 million in congressionally approved construction budgets for Guam by September 30th, or lose it all together. Meanwhile, Guam is enjoying federal support for its thorough examination of DOD's build-up plans. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency recently rejected the Pentagon's draft build-up impact statement. And the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, is the funding source for Statistics and Plans Coastal Management Program. The question now is whether the Defense Department will marshal the resources necessary to meet environmental requirements before time runs out and funding evaporates.